Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to hook up to the grain auger here and we're gonna see if we can make some contacts and use this as an antenna. I don't know if it's gonna work. Let's see what happens, let's go. So the first one we're gonna hook up to here is this 81 footer. And because of all the paint, I'm actually gonna connect my uh, wire from the radio up to these uh, support cables because they're nice and paint free and I can get a good connection on it. They go kind of up and over the top, and but it's all connected uh, metal to metal. So uh, we'll see what happens. And just so we understand the orientation, they I'm facing west right now. So they are pointing to the west and east is behind my back. So here's the setup. I got my station inside the truck because it's getting kind of cold in Iowa. And I've got alligator clipped up here with a wire. Uh, up here is connected to the uh, support cables with a wire going through the window into my station and connected to the wire connection on the back of the tuner and I've got the uh, ground connected down here going down into a spike in the ground so here's the station inside. I've got my MFJ tuner. And that's the coax over to the radio. All right, we're looking at the tuner and we're sending five watts carrier. And looks like she's tuned up pretty well. Yeah, Jane, this is Kevin in Iowa. Can I get a signal report from you, over? Yeah, I've got your daughter. I bought a 3-3, three, three, Kevin, and we're TV2. Kilo, 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 Lima Bravo, coming to you 5 watts from Iowa. Uh, connected to an uh, 80-foot grain auger. And uh, how do I sound, over? Well, you're up and down just a little bit. You you came up to a 5-7 that time, Kevin. I'm running five watts through the grain auger. Five watts through the grain auger. Over. Okay, can you bring it down to one more? You're a little strong out here at five watts in Vermont. Over. Yes, stand by. Standing by for a reduction down to one watt from Iowa. And he's operating for an antenna or grain. Order, if you can believe that guy, so it's kind of interesting. Go ahead, Kevin, see if we can do it on one watt from Iowa to Vermont or one watt to a grain order. Roger, roger. This is K0KLB, one watt through a 80-foot grain auger in Iowa. Over. Okay, I have you, Kevin. It's not very strong, and I'm having trouble understanding what you're saying, but I do have you on one watt, and the antenna is a grain auger. Well, hey, thank you very much for the contact, Kevin. And we made it, and have a great day. QSL, thank you, and 7-3. So we've got two augers. I'm thinking, hey, this might make a phased array. Huh? Okay. So I went ahead and connected another wire. Of course, you know, this length of wire is uh, random. It's not a calculated length of wire like you would be on a phased array. But it's longer than the other wire going up to the auger over there. So we connected it here only because my length of wire wouldn't reach the cables up there on the top. 
So we went from alligator clip wire, longer length of wire, which you need in a phased array. And, uh, but it's, like I said, it's not, it's a random wire. It's not calculated or measured. Got that going into the tuner and we still have the wire going up to this auger going to the tuner. So, uh, let's see what happens. I am back. The phased array, no good. Didn't work at all, but I tried something different. Let's look at it. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna daisy chain the two together by making a jumper connection from the first auger that we have connected to the truck. Alligator clip down here. And I've just got it going to some tight, shiny metal on this second auger. So we're gonna light that up and see what we can do. Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo. Is that Roger? Roger, Roger. K0, KLB, your 55 five, Iowa, QSL. Roger, Roger, you're 5555 five, five, QSL. QSL, Kevin, you're 3535 five, Connecticut. Thank you, buddy. Kilo zero, Kilo Lima Bravo, 5 and 5 and Kilo 3001. Okay, well, there you have it. We successfully activated grain augers on the air, and we found out a few things. One auger works pretty well. Uh, two augers in a phased array configuration, which really wasn't phased array. We weren't using coax cable. We weren't using the right length. No formulas, but we just used wire. And uh, that's all I had. That's all we did. Didn't work, which was fine. But we did find out two augers daisy chained together actually worked pretty well. We got a Puerto Rico right off the bat on that one. So anyway, had a good time. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, we might come back and do some more. Be nice if we could raise them up, uh, have a tractor up here to raise them up 45 degrees and see what that really does. But anyway, had a fun. Hope you did too. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.